Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Death Note episode 10. Last episode was epic. L completely outplayed Light and rocked up and presented himself as L straight away. I know. Like, I thought maybe he was going to be sort of an undercover student for a while and... But no, he was like, hey, by the way, I'm L. You know what's interesting? Because L is obviously not his real name. But that's what everyone knows him as. So I wonder if... No, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? He'd have to know his real name. I was wondering if, like, he could write L. No. No, I know. We've established this no. so many times. No, I know. But I'm just saying, like, if anyone that's, like alive doesn't know his real name then maybe just well, his maybe. biggest strength right now is that yeah People it's obviously not, very yeah. very hidden so that's his biggest advantage other than he's very smart yes and yeah i mean he sort of set the, the stage he said he's going to be around he'll see him at school so he's joining light school and light had a bit of a panic attack or yeah. frustration but then at the end it was like all right game on they're both very competitive so in yeah. the end they both actually almost they get enjoyment out of this showdown yeah, they do. between each other, you know? But I do feel like Light's childish side does get the better of him sometimes. He ends up giving clues and whatnot that really give Al a little bit of an upper hand. So I don't see Al losing his composure, but I do feel like that might come. Well, I think Light has also underestimated Al a lot. Mm -hmm. And maybe after the next few episodes, he's going to start to stop being so childish because he's going to realize that, he, you know, he's really up against it. We're so far, he's been able to outsmart almost everyone. I feel like Light is going to go so psycho. I mean, here it is, right? But I feel like he's going to go this next level psychotic because his real life, he's not really living in it, if that makes sense. He's really just like with Ryuk in his room, the death note, and then now L. And... I, we oh, we don't get to see it as an audience the rest of his life. He's just like ignores his sister, walks up the stairs and just yeah. all these factors. So I I feel that could get quite isolating and yeah, it could make him a bit psychotic. Yeah, it really gives us the perspective that Light is so locked into this mission. The rest of life doesn't matter. We don't really care about yeah. it. Like the, the, it, the story's told in a way that emphasizes that. It's very much him and this mission and everything that he thinks about and lives and breathes at the moment senses around that. There is yeah. no other life. It doesn't have a life other than that. Only when it's for show and for, you know, diversion. So, yeah, I, I think it's going to get very psychotic as well as we go on. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I have to admit, I was surprised for you, Ga. I never thought you'd ask me to play tennis as a way to get to know each other. Is it a problem for you? Not at all. This pretty much is a tennis match, the whole... <laughs> so random. I know. Yes, I'll be fine, though. It's been a while, but at one time, I was actually the British junior champion. Oh, wow. I lived in England for about five years when I was younger, but save your breath. Nothing in that story would reveal Elle's true identity, I promise you. Oh. <laughs> He's so good. Oh, God, I'm going to love this. I feel like the way each of them play will reveal a lot about their gameplay with each other. Yeah. How aggressive, how defensive. In and of itself, it won't determine if Light is Kira. But I know Kira hates to lose. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's smart, dude. So he picked a sport he was good at to make sure he loses. You know, Yagami, it's been four months since this case came to the public's attention and they want results. Wow. Holy shit, four months already. The rest of the department runs away with their tails between their legs and we're incompetent. Do you have any idea how many people are left at Task Force Headquarters these days? I don't know. That's speaking pretty fact. Sure then you'll want to suppress the fact that most of our detectives would rather let a serial killer roam free than risk their lives. Now that's a big oh, issue. Oh, shit. Can he be trusted? In my that's opinion, hard, sorry. He's a lot more capable than we are right now, even as we speak. 
he's risking his life. Yeah, more than half the task force. Is he going to think that I'm Kira if I go for the win? I suppose I could just lose on purpose. But oh if I my do, God. It against me. Since he'd How exhausting. To to win, he might also expect me to throw the match to avoid suspicion. I love how everything they do is like being fully thought out. I know. Not going to let him win. <sighs> Look at that. He's going for the win. That's four games all. Surprised L is so fit, given he always sits down. He was the 0203 Junior High Tennis Champion. Apparently, during the third year awards ceremony, he announced that he was hanging up his racket. And I guess he hasn't what the played hell? competitively since. Man, it's got many talents. I know. I'm already in your head. There's no way this tennis match will deepen our friendship. This is a token gesture. An elaborate act we'll go through so we can say we're closer. No one's in their world other than Assume them that two. I'm preparing to take a step closer, laying the groundwork to get to know you better. Oh my god, they're in their own realm. However, I'm sure you'll tell me you need to know if you can trust me first. And of course, the only way to win your trust will be to share what I know about Kira. Ah, God. Some kind of confirmation from a third party that you really are L. Which means we'll have to go to Task Force Headquarters. Oh Together. my God. Holy shit. To win, you must attack. Oh shit. Oh damn! Enemy. He he beat L. Oh, well, I hope that's not foreshadowing. I suspect that you, Light Yagami, are in fact Kira. He's so straight up with her. What the hell? You think I'm Kira? Well, when I say I suspect you, it's only a one percent possibility. He's lowered it one percent now. And I can verify that your deductive skills are as strong as I think they are. I'd like nothing more than to have you work with me on this investigation. Oh shit, that is super bold. So in another world, they'd be, they'd be good friends. No matter how little he says he suspects me, it means he has grounds to prevent me from meeting anyone on the task force. That was quite the preemptive move on his part. He got me. Right, so he can't ask about the... Damn, dude, holy shit, they're playing each other. Thanks for showing me this place. I can see why you like it. Not to mention, we're so out of the way here, no one's gonna give you a hard time about the way you sit. I oh, know, poor guy. You see, if I were to sit normally, my deductive skills would immediately be reduced by roughly 40%. Oh, wow. Holy shit. What the hell? Me too. <laughs> would you mind submitting yourself to a test of your deductive reasoning skills? Sure, why not? Sounds like fun. Only these two would think that it's fun. And me. I'd like it. Photographs of three notes written by prison inmates while under Kira's control just prior to their deaths. None of this information has been made public. You can take as long as you want to look them over. Please let me know what you think. Oh, damn. So he's going to really play the character of Light against Kira. Clearly, if I read it the way Kira intended on my first attempt, I'd only look more suspicious. But the fact that I'm able to solve this silly code isn't enough on its own to prove that I'm Kira. Even the fact that he has to pretend. Oh my god. L, do you know? Love Apple's gods of death. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. And based on that, it's hard to believe that Kira would have wanted you to read it this way. That's incorrect. Ooh. Thing is, there were actually four photographs. When we add this one, it reads... L, do you know? Gods of death who love apples have red hands. Red hands? I never made any criminal write the letter in this fourth picture. Is he stupid? Clearly not. Oh, what was the point of that? There were four of them. If you'd figured that out, it would have been perfect. Even though you knew the message was incomplete, you decided that there were only three notes never even considered that there might be a fourth. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Ellie's next level. Ellie's next he level. I see what my reaction would be. If I keep falling for his tricks, I'll be playing right into his hands. He's Ooh. so good. Love it. Love it. 
If you were me, faced with someone who might be Kira, how would you go about establishing this person's innocence or guilt? You need to be absolutely sure. Omar throwing it back at him. Kind of like what you were doing just now. Truly amazing. What's incredible is that I've asked countless detectives that same question, and it took most of them minutes to even come up with an answer. Yeah, true. Immediately thought of a scenario in which Kira is speaking directly to the investigator. I'm impressed. You'll make a fine detective, Light. Oh, they're so similar. The more impressive my answers, the more of a suspect I become. Yes, it's about 3% now. How oh, wow. It's made me that much more determined to work with you on this investigation. I love how so upfront they are now with each other. If I cooperate with you, there's a chance I can help the investigation to move forward. And if I'm Kira, I might reveal myself. Oh, shit. He's literally in a box. He's cornered him. Detective work is a hobby of mine. But I know that I'm not Kira, and I certainly don't want to be killed by him. Besides, what proof have you been able to give me that you yourself aren't Kira? There we go. And this is where he makes his play. However, if you are in fact L, I don't imagine it would be that hard for you to prove it to me. I think I'd be convinced if, say, my father or someone else from the task force headquarters was able to confirm your identity. Oh, no. You sure talk a lot, don't you, Light? Typical person <laughs> who hates losing. I think that's 7%. Could it really be him? 7%? Holy shit. It's just going to keep going up. Now, if I understand you correctly and I take you to Task Force Headquarters, you'll help us with the investigation. Am I safe in making this assumption? Ooh. He got cornered again. Yes? Ryuzaki, I have some bad news. Light, your father is... Light, it's your... My father. What? He had a heart attack. What? What Wait, the... he's might be stress-related. Surely Kira didn't write his own father. There's no reason to do that. It might be stress related, but he's either trying he to do a diversion or he, stress related. Did he die from a heart attack? Because you can have one and still live. All right, let's see. Let's he looked up. pretty thrashed by the with last story. Oh my god. Have them call home if you need me to bring anything. Light, you take care of him, okay? Sure. Okay, he's fine. He's so fine. He's alive. Okay, luckily. So the doctors think stress was the only cause. Yeah. To be honest, I thought it was Kira when I first collapsed, but I'll be all right. Oh my god, could you imagine? If only he knew his son. This guy is the real L. My father wouldn't lie. The very same man who's been controlling the police up to this point. If I get rid of him and the rest of the investigative team, no. And the rest of them? There's no need to rush. I have time to sit back and watch. But for now, I'm the light Yagami who's worried for his father. Oh my god. Yeah, you can't be Kira here. They were instructed to follow people connected to the Japanese police. One of these agents, Ray Pember, exhibited unusual behavior before he died. He's literally playing all these cards out on the table. I find Light's deductive powers quite impressive. He's always quick and to the point. Ryuga, I'd like to help with the investigation. My father has erased any doubts I might have had regarding your true identity. Now they're ready to play ball. They're forced to play each other's game. Besides, don't you remember my promise? That if something ever happened to you, I would find Kira and make sure he gets executed. Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? This doesn't seem like an act to me. Or if it is, it's too cheesy. <laughs> I love it, that. Kira is pure evil. We can all agree on that. But recently, I've started thinking of this whole situation in a different way. What's Lark going to say about that? And any person who has come to possess this kind of power is cursed. No matter how oh, he wow. is, no true happiness can be obtained like that. Not by killing other people. Maybe he's just going to put himself above again. If Kira is just a normal person who somehow obtained this awful power... I would say that he's cursed. Ryuzaki, I'm sorry for all this trouble. Silence. Absolute silence. 
What would it take to get you to believe that I'm not Kira? Please, isn't there something? If you aren't Kira, it won't be necessary. Let things run their course and the truth will be revealed. I love that answer. What if you were to lock me up for a month in a place with no TV or any other kind of access to the outside world and keep a constant watch over me? Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's no good. I can't do anything that would deprive you of basic human rights. And furthermore, it's complete nonsense for the investigator to take suggestions from his suspect. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's true. Because it could be another trap. Yeah. And listening to that conversation between you and your father, I was almost convinced you might not be him. Almost. Almost. I know I agreed to help with the investigation, but I don't think I'll be able to do much until my father is healthy again. Yes, of course. Well then. It's just one big game. Oh, it's very interesting. I never once felt cursed since I picked up the death note. In fact, the thought never even crossed my mind. I'm happier than I've ever been. All thanks to this power. Wow. He's lost. That's wild. I could care less whether you feel cursed or happy to have a notebook. I leave that sentimental crap to you humans. <laughs> oh, the real? humans who come into contact with the Shinigami have nothing but misfortune. Mm. Interesting. Okay. But I have no intentions of repeating that pattern. <laughs> well, I hope you're right about that. You know what's crazy? Ryuk has the L's name. Our program gets the ratings because we cover the stories that the other stations won't touch. If it bleeds, it leads. If it bleeds, it leads. What is it? Tape? Well, who is this from? Huh? <laughs> is it from L? Is he playing another game? This is what I call a story. It's almost too good to be true. Apparently I could read it. If you do not broadcast these tapes, I will kill your company's board of directors one by one. Who wouldn't air these? If this is for real, our ratings are gonna go through the roof. This man's excited. He's... I'm so excited, I feel like I'm having a heart attack here. Oh my but God, who, that makes... Who sent that L a lot? Yeah, it's a good question. Good question. Things are really picking up. This episode was really good. Isn't it crazy? We literally started from a match of tennis, which I think is perfect in the fact that, you know, it is like, now the ball's in your court, now the ball's in your court, now it's in mine. And they go back and forth for the last nine episodes. And of course, they had to add an extra element that they were both really good. They really stood out in that game which is only you know illustrative of the game that they're playing as l and kidda i just think the back and forth between them are fantastic game to go in either of their minds yeah. and see how they're both trying to outplay each other but what adds an extra dimension to it is that light has to keep he's playing he's acting as himself prior to getting the book so we're almost seeing two yeah. versions of light which is what makes it interesting because had Light never got in the book, I do believe that him and Elle would have actually really gotten along yeah. well and been a powerful force in the case. And yet, because he does have the book, he's playing as both, as two parts of himself, almost like an alter ego. You're going to have to slip up at some point. Like, the fact that you're thinking on your feet and you're going in and out of Kira and Light, I don't know. I, that's a lot. That's a lot for me, let alone... <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. You Good luck trying to predict this kind of stuff. You can't even predict the, the, the level of thing. You know what the thing is? It's not even that you can't predict. It's you don't even get the time to. Like, they are on it. Like, no tomorrow. They're just throwing shit at you and seeing what sticks. Yeah. And L is brilliant. The way he gave him a fourth note. There's so much in that. I because like that. A, it pisses someone who hates to lose off because mm -hmm. it's not real and it's, it's going to hurt Kida's pride. Yeah. Secondly, it traps him into thinking there's only three, which made him, you know, seem like, why are you so confident in there only being three? Yeah. Like, he knows how smart Light is, and the more he throws at him, the more Light has to think of every possible angle from both Kidder, but also Light's perspective. Yeah. He has to answer as a very smart Light, but not too much where it gives away that he could be Kidder. Yeah. And it's very hard to do that when you do know. So these traps and 
I Very know. interesting. It's like, what would I know if I wasn't Kira? Like, and and it that is a very hard skill. Very hard skill. Especially when you've got to do it, you know, within less than time because lights. Sorry, L is watching you very closely, and if you're sitting there yeah. stu stuttering and you know out of normal behavior patterns, it's going to pick up on that as well. Mm. That's why it's so hard to backtrack to the point where light is going to have to slip up. But it's going to be something small, I feel, that, I don't know, is he going to have to get the eyes eventually? I mean, it's still a bit too early, but... Yeah, we've still got that, that clutch card, which is... And let's be fair, Ryuk, Ryuk still isn't giving away everything. So he gave the eye scenario. I feel like there could be more eventually later on that he reveals, but... The thing is, Light hates to lose, so for him to give into that would be losing... And I don't know if he's probably willing to do that. Yeah. To have to resort to that to beat L in a game of wits, I don't know. It would seem like that's him giving up, or he'd have to be very, very desperate. Like he's got that's nothing left. Very desperate, I feel. It is interesting as well that Light has gotten to a point now where he's outgrown the opinion of others, including his father. Because I thought that his father's viewpoint on Kira being pure evil would roll him up a little bit more, but he seemed more pleased and, and content than ever. So I think he's beyond caring about that. But you know what? If I was Al, I would take, and we'll see how many times it gets brought up, but I would take my silence on that as a message. Like if you're not, I guess he did say that he would execute Kira. So that wasn't so much silence, but if he's going to be silent every time they're saying how evil he is, for me, that would be a clue. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, in that case, it wasn't because he'd already said he would execute him yeah. and not hesitate. So he cleared his name. It's way too intelligent for something as simple as that to be a, an oversight. I think it's yeah. going to be... A, the traps are going to be set. And uh, honestly, it was a very fun episode just to see how they keep trying to outplay each other, keep trying to outthink each other. And even when they're doing it in something like a tennis match or a coffee, like it's getting yeah. very creative with the activities they're doing. And yet they're creating scenarios or thinking or analyzing each other through stuff like tennis, which was awesome to see, you know, identify elements of kid as he like hate to lose and things like that. And then you've got L's a very tricky nature where he will lead you down one path and then very abruptly go boom. Yeah. Like, like saying that. that he's L and then saying that he suspects a lot of being Kira. And the last one was, you know, he's like, I never said you can't meet the task force. Why would you assume that? Like, he's just very upfront. He's very to the point, trying to catch out on the slightest yeah. bit of nervousness or anything. It's it's really well done. I think, you know how Light was saying, you know, I showed you this place. It's quiet. No one will know. Like, the fact that he even knows that, I mean, it could be Light, the one that studies and doesn't want to be disturbed and things like that. But in my brain, what was happening there was like, oh, Ryuk. Like, if he's talking to Ryuk in this public place where he thinks someone can see him, that could also be... That could, like... Yeah, but Elle doesn't really know Ryuk's a thing yet, so... No, not yet. But I'm saying that could be something that reveals itself later in the future. Not sure. Maybe. But I, I don't know. I feel like... Because the level of thinking here is so vast, I feel like the little things that you're mentioning, like... Uh, in a normal show, the like silence gonna... in a room or yeah. the knowing a quiet place, these little things, but I just feel like the investigation is going to go so much deeper than that, that these no, things are going to sure. be irrelevant. For sure. That's the vibe I get. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like little things are what's going to suspect or well, what will make Al suspect him even more. Like the fact that it went from 1% to 7% in one sitting is... I know you probably yourself of being Detective Pudgy, but... L would floor you. He would, he would. You are a joke compared to L, and you are a joke compared to me. No. Oh yeah. No, you're just a joke. Honestly, That's... me, L, and Light, we are pretty similar level. Thinking. No, no. I'm on their level. You're just nah. like down in the shit. No, 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 no. I thought it was interesting. You're like the first person that died. No, that would be you. You'd, you'd be, be Ray Pemba. No, you'd be Ray Pemba. I'm about to say that. <laughs> you'd be Ray Pemba. You'd be Naomi. No. Thinking that you're so smart, and no. then I come out as L, it's like boom. No, no, incorrect. Um, I thought it was interesting that Ryuk was saying that he's not going to say whether it's curse or not, but most people have misfortune when they come into contact with the Death Note. Well, so far, Light's had a lot of fortune. Well, has he? Well, a lot of things have worked out his way. Not right now with yeah. L, but a lot of things have worked out his way. How many times has he been 
you know, like Naomi revealing she's an FBI agent right before she was about to yeah. give information and there've been many things that have revealed themselves. So. Yeah, that's true. I can't imagine a lot of other people went to this amount of effort. And with him getting raped, Pemba on the last day he was on duty investigating him, like... To be fair, I think the biggest misfortune is the fact that Al is investigating your <laughs> your case, so... Yeah, but that was sort of going to happen no matter what. If you crash your ruckus, you're going to get the best of the best on you. But, but all the actions that he's caught, his dad had a heart attack. That's a misfortune. Obviously, he, the health of his father is important to him. Well, I don't know. I mean, I would think so. Yeah. But... Where he's heading, the level of self-importance inflation that mm. he's got, I think he's just, he's almost getting to the point where it doesn't matter about the, the casualty or the risk. It's like, whatever's going to get done, I have this ultimate divine purpose and everyone's yeah. lesser than me. That's where I see I do light. see that. I do see that, but I can't imagine his family is too far below that. Yeah, well, we'll find that, won't we? Uh. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. And if you do want to get three to four weeks of early access, check out our Patreon in the link in the description. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on our next reaction. See you guys.